Hey, good morning, guys. Bill McMillan here with NDWX.com on Monday morning, and we've got a snow event to deal with, and um, portions of our region can expect several inches of wet snow as we progress through Tuesday into Wednesday morning. So let's get right into this. And we'll start off by uh, taking a look at the forecast radar here off the high-resolution NAM. Most of today is dry. We'll notice clouds that will lower and thicken as we go through the day. Uh, any sunshine we see will come during the first half of our Monday before those clouds lower and thicken and give way to rain tonight into early Tuesday. Now, it's as we get into Tuesday or during the overnight and Tuesday morning that precipitation will begin to change to a wintry mix of sleet, freezing rain, and wet snow for portions of, uh, of Indiana, especially the southern half and eastern half of the state. And we'll take a look here at our first call uh, best placement for the potential of significant wet snow here in just a moment. But continuing to put this forecast uh, radar into motion, notice an expanding area of snow that will develop Tuesday afternoon, Tuesday evening across the eastern half of the state. That's going to be in association with uh, upper level energy that's moving through the area. I want to take a look at that here too because what we can really, uh, we use this, to, especially this time of the year, this is one of my favorite tools at least anyway, uh, where this upper energy or this Vortmax tracks really right under and just to the north given the other ingredients that are in play. Uh, it's where you're likely to see your uh, heaviest snow uh, in, a, in at least a narrow band develop. So as we zoom this back out, and put this into motion, just keep it, uh, keep an eye on this guy right here as it continues to move and kind of just bowl east. And, and that's going to help us get an idea, I think, of putting the heaviest swath of snow with this system across the uh, south central, southeastern portion of the state. Uh, so something to, to keep in mind as we go through the next uh, 24 hours or so. Uh, certainly if you're looking at models uh, out there as well, I would suggest paying attention to exactly where that tracks. That will give us an idea, I think, as to where the best chance of accumulating snow will go. Now, speaking of that, uh, this is a look at our initial call for best chances of wet snow. And we really think it's the eastern uh, third or the eastern half of the state, if you will, for the best chance of a wet, heavy snow thump that develops Tuesday evening into Wednesday. That's where the, the, you know, the, the most intense snowfall will occur we believe. Uh, within this area, don't be surprised if somewhere at least within this zone uh, we see several inches of wet snow that accumulates. So uh, as we go back and take a look at the GFS forecast model to wrap things up, we'll, we'll notice that this uh, Tuesday Wednesday snow event heads off to the east also gives our friends in the Appalachians another uh, wet snow accumulation into the northeast as well. Uh, we, we forecast a wintry mix of rain and snow developing late Thursday into early Friday, and then a warm front will come at us as we go into the weekend. And models are in disagreement uh, as to the extent of warming that may occur and also the track of this area of low pressure. The potential is there for portions of the Ohio Valley to deal with yet another uh, snow event or a wintry mix event as we go through this uh, upcoming weekend. So that's going to be something that we're going to monitor as well. All in all, guys, uh, it remains just a cold pattern, uh, colder than average, and a challenging one at that, really, uh, into the early parts of April. We'll have an update for you later on tonight with a better idea as to snowfall numbers uh, for that Tuesday, Wednesday morning time frame. In the meantime, make it a great Monday, and we'll talk with you soon on NDWX.com.